Hi guys, this is Vice from Vice IAS. We are going to continue the Geography NCRT series, Class 9, Chapter 5 we have reached. So without any delay, we will begin it. Chapter 5, PDFs please download from the NCRT website. It's available for free. So this is about uh, natural vegetation and wildlife, I think. Uh, yeah, okay. So one second, I'll just... I'll just highlight a few extra things before starting this video. I'll just open it again. Okay. Natural vegetation and wildlife. So, first it uh, begins with a lot of stories like uh, India is like uh, one of the 12 major nations where there are a lot of biodiversities. I think they call it the mega biodiversity countries, okay, one of the 12, 47,000 plant species, 15,000 flowering plants, 90,000 species of animals. So, India is rich in all kind of vegetation animals, okay, and one definition is there virgin vegetation. So, we have to know what is this. Natural vegetation refers to a plant. Uh, community which has grown naturally without human aid and has been left undisturbed by humans for a long time so something which is natural and which is not intervened by humans that is virgin vegetation so obviously the cultivated crops the fruits orchards etc which we grow are not part of this natural vegetation okay the virgin vegetation which are purely indian are known as endemic or indigenous but those who have those which have uh, come from outside india it is exotic so endemic is what is ours what is our own and it is available only here and exotic is something which is coming from outside okay now flora and fauna you know flora refers to plants and fauna refers to animals then um, different factors actually it is the same factors which we learned for climate in the last chapter so depending on different factors the climate will be varying and depending on climate vegetation and the animals will be varying okay so everything is interrelated so relief you know land and soil just the keywords you should I mean, note down the paragraphs are just uh, basic things land you know mountainous hills plateaus different things will be there fertility level will be different and so land will decide the factor soil again you know different types of soil are there there are eight types of soil in india you know the black alluvial red laterite then uh, mountain desert mangrove saline okay that is the eight you should know like this like how i told now without even looking you should know those eight soil names and you should know specific features you should know where it is found in india which is the most uh, abundantly found which is the most scarcely found which is good for cotton then which is called as ragur soil which is called as curry soil there are different names okay i have a table actually in facebook uploaded already if you don't find that let me know i'll give you the table which will tell ex explaining all the eight soils okay in this chapter i don't think ncrt has mentioned it but it's very important for prelims so land soil and next is the climate climate obviously you know the temperature pressure precipitation those kind of things will decide and i have shown you already in the last chapter like himalayas ladakh has very less rainfall while uh, kerala coast and northeast has a huge rainfall Okay, so those things are uh, again uh, uh, deciding what kind of flora fauna will be there. This is a table again, not much important, but one thing you should know like the tropical or the subtropical regions won't have frost conditions. Okay, no frost or frost is rare. And these kind of things, the uh, value is not required, you will be able to anyway know it. Temperature and alpine, you know, frost conditions will be there. Okay, that is uh, as the altitude is increasing from the equator towards poles, obviously frost condition will increase. Then sunlight. Sunlight again, you know, latitude, altitude, uh, the rotation of the earth all will decide the sunlight and sunlight, you know, it's good for the trees. So it will again decide the climatic conditions and climate will decide the vegetation, vegetation will decide the animals. Okay. Now precipitation. Again, same thing they are telling, I'm not going to read it again, all over again. Just that keywords you note down, temperature, precipitation, land, soil. Okay. Then, uh, okay, here one term is there. Uh, except in some in okay the vegetation cover in india in large parts is no more natural in the real sense okay earlier it was all natural but now humans are intervening right so except in some inaccessible regions like the himalayas the hilly region of the central india and the uh, marusthali marusthali actually means the land of the dead that is literal meaning it actually refers to the uh, desert regions or the immobile or people don't go there much so such places so there and all in accessibility is less but other places everywhere human uh, occupancy has come and so obviously the vegetation has changed so there is no natural vegetation now it's all artificial and again here one important thing is the forest report which actually comes i think every two years 2015 report was there i have seen it once but 2017 i don't know whether it has come or not okay if it has come that will be the latest and it is important for the people who are preparing for indian forest service okay you know prelims is common for everybody but after prelims those who need indian forest service they have a different mains exam okay which is there are only few centers in india uh, you should know about it who are interested in indian forest specific forest service okay also we can actually write both of them both the mains if you are if you are interested you can write this mains also that mains also okay for every new aspirant i am telling all these basic things so forest report becomes very important for them it will have the uh, census things like uh, how much tree cover is there how much uh, 
animals vegetation all these are there in different locations of india that's all so that's a very good report okay but uh, actual prelims for our thing i don't think questions will come from it then ecosystem uh, we know environment we already saw these kind of things uh, so it's like a uh, occurring in distinct groups of communities in areas having similar climatic conditions so in same place when interaction happens when with uh, communities uh, it is called an ecosystem okay so uh, that vegetation will deserve the animal life i have already told you and uh, i don't think much uh, these kind of keywords you know interdependent interrelated okay these things within the ecosystem are all related to each other and this is the forest cover which i told i think according to 2013 report it is it shown here 2013 report it is telling the forest cover and if you see northeastern states all have the highest and also andaman and nicobar has the highest okay then there will be states like kerala and all and last it will be like uh, states like haryana bihar and all where rainfall is less punjab rajasthan if you see okay scanty rainfall so obviously forest cover will be this so these are again uh, important things for forest report so ecological imbalance that is again humans cutting trees killing animals and all those things okay then a biome okay biome is actually uh, what to say again a region in environment i'll tell you the proper definition for that but it's a very huge ecosystem you can tell where a lot of types of animals are there a lot of type of plants are there so that whole thing is called biome okay and there is a concept called biosphere reserve and there is a man and biosphere uh, program by the unesco which uh, uh, lists certain important biospheres from every country okay in india there are 18 biosphere reserves and out of that uh, 10 are there in the unesco list okay the latest one is agastyamala i have a very good table for that i'll show you the table in this video itself when we reach the biosphere section before that we'll see types of vegetation which are again important the tropical evergreen tropical deciduous tropical thorn forest and scrubs mountain forest mangrove forest so by the names itself i know you will be anyway knowing it and this chapter also does not have very much too much details it has the basic climate the basic uh, animals the basic plant names so i think for this you should make a table by yourself as and when i am reading pause it take an excel sheet and just fill up fill up the table okay with these five in the uh, column a then in column b try uh, put heading as plants then animals then climate and then just keep filling when i tell something okay pause now and just do it because if you do it one time it is a lifetime learning for you and then before the prelims you can have a glance at it i'll show you a similar table now before we go to the text i'll show you a table one second there in my yeah chapter 5 okay this table this actually i did not prepare from ncert i prepared from some other source i think from gc leong and some other videos online so like this if you make a table like uh, here if you see it's not what is there going to be there in ncert okay this is a little more detailed one where evergreen itself has three color classification like wet evergreen semi evergreen moist deciduous then uh, dry if you see dry evergreen dry deciduous tropical thorn so in ncert class 9 we don't have this much uh, like This is three plus three plus like fifteen for twelve to thirteen types of uh, climates are there. Okay, but uh, and everything is India, Indian related. Okay, and if you see rainfall, trees, mountain location, sorry, main locations, then extra comments, then area wise, that is the forest cover area wise. If you see thirty seven percent for moist deciduous, the maximum in India, and point two dry evergreen is the least. So it's a very detailed table looking into minute details, but prelims don't ask this much in depth now. So basics from NCERT you have to form a separate table. I'll also try to update this table and then put it in our Facebook page. So I'm not going to read it out because what we anyway we're going to look through NCERT stuff now. This is a little more detailed. So I'm just showing you how to make a table. Okay, this will be very good. We make a lot of charts at Vice Chairs and we have been uploading it in our Facebook and students have been giving good fees feedback. Also when you buy the MCQs of particular subjects, these things are already attached along with it. so we'll get it for free when you buy the when you pay for just the mcqs okay so try to get that now we'll continue the this thing uh, ncert so tropical evergreen okay you know it is uh, heavy rainfall is there this is the map you can see the map first okay so you see the dark green thing is the tropical evergreen the light blue thing is the um, deciduous which is the maximum in india then we have the mountain forest in the himalayan states then the mangrove if you see in the sundarban delta the koleru lake silka lake that area pulikat lake those regions then we have the tropical thorn forest which is the white or which is the uh, thing in the desert area okay so this is the overall uh, map representation now we'll see the different characteristics so 200 cm of rainfall that is we are talking about evergreen now 200 cm rainfall multi layered structure you know that canopy and all will be like this it will be it's not like this this is deciduous because uh, same thing but it will be all green okay now this is like alternate green and uh, uh, dry so that is a uh, deciduous but green everything will be green and it will be having thick canopy okay important trees is very important this is what you have to fill in that table which i told ebony mahogany rosewood rubber and cinchona for the 
uh, make a column for rainfall, make a column for plants, and another column for animals. That's all. Animals uh, is elephants, monkeys, lemur, and deer. Okay, one horned rhinoceros. So if you know the states like Assam, West Bengal, Kerala, you know the states means you can fill up the animals yourself. Okay, uh, and uh, birds, bats, sloths, scorpions, snails. So evergreen is done. Okay, just make a table and fill it up. Tropical deciduous, you see, as, you as I told you in the map, it's like the uh, most widespread. It has 200 centimeters and 70 centimeter uh, range of uh, rainfall. Then here again we'll see the plants: teak, bamboo, sal, shisham, sandalwood, sandalwood, hair, kusum, arjun, mulberry. Okay, these are the plants. I'm reading very fast because these are just things which you have to either know by heart or just understand the climate and then fill it up. Okay, there's nothing uh, conceptual thing here. So again, dry deciduous is there, which is a little more uh, dry climate kind of thing, but plants are almost the same: teak, seed, sal, people, neem, grow, uh, etc. Okay. So this is the tropical deciduous and tropical evergreen. I think animals will be there. Yeah, animals are lion, tiger, pig, deer, and elephant. Almost the same. Okay. Birds, lizards, snakes, and tortoise are also found here. Okay. So this is about tropical evergreen and tropical deciduous. Now thorn forest. Thorn forest is again, you know, desert regions, west, uh, northwestern India. Uh, semi-arid regions of Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh is also there and here it is uh, Acacia, Palms, Euphorbias, Cacti. Then uh, again animals will be there. Animals are rats, mice, rabbits, fox, wolf, tiger, lion, wild ass, horses and camels. Okay, horse was a controversial question in the 2017 prelims whether in this valley people knew about the horses or not. So it has multiple views, uh, different coaching institute gives you different answer. Please see my analysis of 2017 also in the different video which we have already uploaded. Then uh, mountain forest. Mountain forest you know in the Himalayan state it's there. Here it's like different height will have different uh, vegetation. Okay, So they are giving 1000 to 2000 meter. They will have evergreen broadleaf trees such as oaks and chestnut. Okay, Now 1500 and 3000 they are telling temperate forest that is height is increasing now. Temperate forest where coniferous trees like pine, deodar, silver fir, spruce and cedar. Okay. Now again we will go a little more height that is 3600 above sea level, temperate forest, here again alpine vegetation. So it's like evergreen, then coniferous, then alpine. Okay. So its height is increasing, vegetation is differing. Again silver fir, junipers, pines, birches. Okay. Common trees. Um, so picture is there, this is the mountain forest. Okay. If you go to Kashmir valley and all you can see that. And uh, two important tribe names are there, nomadic tribe, Gujjas and Bakarwals, try to find out the spread of the states, it's not available in just one state, it's uh, spread across I think Jammu, Himachal and all, so Gujjas, seeing the Gujjas thing, don't think it's Gujarat or something, it is there in uh, Himachal and uh, I think uh, Jammu and Kashmir, okay, uh, Bakarwals also, you should know where it is, then higher altitude, mosses and lichens are also present, you know in the world climate condition also, Tundra, Triga and all, it has such kind of coniferous and uh, mosses, lichen style kind of climate. Kashmir stag, you should know, it's a national animal, sorry, state animal also for that, Jammu uh, and Kashmir, uh, which is endangered and it is, uh, maybe I think come into the list of critical endangered soon. Then uh, spotted deer, wild sheep, jack, rabbit, Tibetan antelope, yak, snow leopard, these are all I think you will be able to answer, you will be able to know. Red panda, it is there in uh, Meghalaya, Nokrek, Nokrek uh, is a biosphere. We will again see Nokrek in this video itself, I think biosphere rivers, uh, reserves are there at the end of this chapter, the list at least. Um, the mangrove forest now again Sundarban you know Sundari trees are there because of the Sundar, it's called Sundarban and it is like uh, roots are in the saline uh, area so that is why uh, there are different types of root systems which is important for UPSC it's not there in this chapter but you should know the different types of roots are there which will come out of the soil and try to get uh, uh, nutrients from the air also because it's there in the saline area it cannot get all the nutrients or needed things from the water okay so that is one thing and this is the spread of it, uh, Ganga, Mahanadi, almost all the river deltas it will be present. Uh, these are the plants, palm, coconut, kiora, agar, then uh, royal Bengal tiger, you know Sundarban. Then turtles, crocodiles, you know saltwater crocodile is there in the Bitar Kanika. And where is Garyal found? It was a 2017 question. Garyal is found in the Chambal region, okay, Madhya Pradesh. Okay. So now next this table again in most of the mock test I have seen because it's mentioned in NCRT uh, the medicinal plants okay there are a lot of medicinal plants in India even uh, Europeans are actually uh, uh, trying to get hold of it uh, to make uh, good medicines and all. Uh, World Conservation Union's red list has named okay there's something called World Conservation you called Conservation Union it has a red list and it has named 352 uh, medicinal plants of which 52 are critically threatened and 49 are endangered so this is something which you know IUCN which does the uh, uh, red list of uh, plants and animals so this is World Conservation Union which is doing the red list of uh, I think it's the same 
just recheck it. I think uh, IUCN is again called World Conservation Union also. So it also rates the red list for medicine. Okay, so this much threaten this numbers are not important, but these things found in India are good medicinal plants, and you should know the at least one liner about each of these things. Uh, most common tulsi and neem, you know, and tulsi is like cure cough and cold. Neem uh, high antibiotic and antibacterial. Babul leaves are used as cure for sore eyes. Its gum is used as tonic. Okay, Arjun, the fresh juice of leaves is a cure for earache. So just one line like Arjun, like earache, bubble, it's for I or uh, like that. Just one one word at least about it. Try to remember it. Make a note of it and just before the day of prelims, go through it. Okay, don't uh, sit and think more about it. Just uh, note it down somewhere because else you have to again open the NCRT and find out where it was, which table it was. So with pen and pencil or something, make a note of these six names and just a one liner. Just before the day of prelims, June second, you just go through it once. Okay, that's more than enough. Uh, Sarpaganda Jamun. Okay, just told the names. It is very important. You see, treating blood pressure and all it is used. So that is, uh, you will not think when you see such things in options in question, you will think that cannot be possible. But it is actually possible. Okay, so that is why this is one liner about each of these things. Make a note. Then uh, we proceed. Wildlife. So it's called fauna. We have a lot of numbers, not important. Elephants, most majestic among mammals, found in uh, Assam, Karnataka, Kerala. One horned rhino, you know, in Assam, it is there. Uh, arid uh, areas of runoff cuts, Thar Desert, they have this wild ass and camels. Actually, in 2016, there was a question about one swimming camel. I forgot the name of it, but it's a, there's a camel which can actually swim. Okay, that was a statement in UPSC, and people thought it is weird and uh, to thought that it is a false statement. So be aware of such current affairs. Um, I think Karai camels or something that was the name. Okay, uh, Indian bison, Nilgai, uh, Chausinga, that is uh, like the name. Four horned uh, antelope, gazelle. So the gazelle. These are all uh, just saying, telling a widespread range of animals. Okay, available in India. It's nothing specific. You have to buy heart or something. Um, India is the only country in the world that has both tigers and lions. Okay, so now that is a fact. Okay, India is the only country in the world that has both tigers and lions. The natural habitat of Indian lion is the gear forest, you know, okay. You guys have asked multiple times in mass the following about gear forest. Last year also there was a question like to which uh, wildlife sanctuary was lions being shifted from the gear forest. So you had to find out that the answer was something I think Palampur or something in Madhya Pradesh, okay. So try to know the importance of wildlife sanctuaries, uh, national parks, biosphere reserves, everything you need to have a table, at least the important ones in current affairs. We are covering it in our MCQs, buy that MCQs, 200 MCQs are there dedicated to environment alone. If you buy that 200 MCQs, I am sure not even one question you will miss in your prelims 2018. Okay, that is my guarantee. Okay, now these are again a good picture, like this the maps you should have in your room also wherever you are studying. Uh, so you should know like Dutchy Gam when you hear the moment you should know it is in Jammu and Kashmir. Rajaji, Corbett and all is near Uttarakhand, Uttar Pradesh, Dudwa is in Uttar Pradesh. Then uh, important ones, okay, Manas, uh, Kaziranga. Uh, actually here there are many uh, reserves, okay, in uh, northeast. So I used to make uh, like mnemonics like M O K D is there. M is Manas, then O will be here somewhere in center, it's Orang. Then uh, Kaziranga, then D will be there in the, uh, again, eastern side like the Bruce Saikova. So Mock D is the order, M O K D. So like there is an order I used to learn. Simlipal in Orissa, it's again important because uh, Mankidia tribes are in news. Yesterday's news only, if you are following Hindu, you will know why why Mankidia uh, tribes in Simlipal was in news. Then uh, important one, uh, many Gandhi Gandhi things are there like Sanjay Gandhi, Indira Gandhi, Rajiv Gandhi. Try to know at least like north to south in which order it is. If UPSC wants to trouble you people, they will put those names, okay. Then uh, Ranganathitu, it is actually also a bird sanctuary. Then we have the Pulikat Lake somewhere here. Yeah, last year one or two questions came from Pulikat Lake. Then uh, Mudumalai, then here itself the Satyamangalam forest is there which was asked in 2017 like uh, where does the Eastern Ghat and Western Ghat meet? Okay, so that was the question. Bandipur is in Karnataka, Periyar is in Kerala. Um, important ones, Gir and from here only to Palampur is somewhere here so it, they shifted. Kana, then the Panna Tiger Reserve is important because the uh, Ken Betwa River linking project is happening and it is being submerged. Okay, some area of Panna Tiger Reserve is getting submerged. Also, Panna is also a biosphere rivers, uh, reserve eight, out of the 18, but it is not part of the 10 in UNESCO. I'll show you the list at the end of this chapter. I think somewhere uh, the chapter is about to get over and somewhere it, they have given the list alone in this chapter. Okay, bird life in India, peacock, pheasants, uh, uh, ducks, parakeets, cranes. So a lot of birds. Birds also festivals you should know the Hornbill festival where it is happening, the Flamingo festival where it is happening. If you know, tell it in comment section. If you don't know, you are re not reading the Hindu properly. Okay, every day Hindu it is there. Flamingo festival was there yesterday's Hindu. Okay, so again here nothing much 
carry uh, to carry away it is simply telling stories and stories uh, this is what i told um, biosphere 14 biosphere reserves it's actually old version i think because it's telling 14 actually there are 18 i'll show you the list of actually after this and they're telling only four are there in that unesco list okay but that is actually wrong now it is like 10 out of 18 is there so just know that i'll show you after we complete this chapter uh, migratory birds very important again you know the amur falcon which comes from the siberia stops somewhere at uh, nalwa land or something and then it goes to south africa then returns back that is amur falcon then uh, uh, flamingo festival was important then kulikat lake is again a breeding ground then there is a flamingo city okay flamingo city is in gujarat flamingo festival is in uh, kulikat so both are in extreme sites so don't confuse between the two so there are also a lot of, uh, I think, uh, that spot built pelican. A lot of things are there which comes in news. Okay, here again, Siberian crane. During winter, it comes in large number. See, runoff catch. So it's coming into the Gujarat region. Uh, flamingo is there. Flamingo is actually, I think, even state bird for Gujarat. I am not sure. Just confirm. So a lot of migratory, bird, migratory birds comes into India. Okay. These are important names, but uh, don't study from here. I'll show you another table. So that's all in this chapter. I'll show you the table before we look at the MCQs. Uh, I watched the slide. Okay. So this table I showed you. Try to make for uh, the whatever I whatever we learnt in this chapter. Uh, this one. This one is again I made a chart. Uh, so this is uh, this is how I revise. Okay. I don't depend on any other source, any other coaching material. I study from books or online sources and make my own charts for revision. That is the best way, and that's the same thing I'm sharing it with you. So please make use of such things which we are giving for free. So 18 are there, this is the list, 10 are UNESCO sites, so I marked it in a different color. So here if you see, and again some mnemonic you can make, okay, if you see 3 are starting with N, then 2 are starting with G, then S, S, then again P, A, A, here actually it's Madhya Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh. So I grew, order it in such a way that once I know one name, I'll be able to study it like a chain, okay, I'll know everything. So here itself you see the last one all like Pradesh, Pradesh, Arunachal Pradesh, Himachal Pradesh, Andhra Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, I've grouped it in such a way that even if you forget something you can immediately link like okay that will be the next one that will be the next one that's how like 18 of them will be there in my mind registered okay so that's how you also should learn so again uh, quickly we'll see nilgiri kerala tamil nadu uh, nilgiri again it's like the uh, meeting point of that uh, eastern Ghat, western Ghat. okay nokrek is in meghalaya here a red panda is there i told you about nokrek sometime back nanda devi is in up gulf of mannar you know the uh, park bay or the india PALK, okay, Palk Bay, India Sri Lanka uh, border, then uh, Great Nicobar in Andaman Nicobar Island. There, uh, one Narcondam Island is in news where Hornbill is there. Then um, Sundarban, West Bengal, Simlipal, Orissa is in news, uh, Panchmari, M. Madhya Pradesh, uh, Achanakmar, Amarkantak, okay, MP. Amarkantak, we have learnt in the drainage system also, Narmada and so on, two rivers start from here. Agastyamala was the latest one to enter the UNESCO sites and the UNESCO biosphere actually, okay, UNESCO does a lot of listing. So this is the UNESCO Biosphere, Man and Biosphere program. So that is Kerala Tamil Nadu again. So if you see Nilgiri and Agastyamala, both are in. And I think it was in 2010. After that, none of the other ones have got into the list. If you see Manas is a very important one, but still it is not there in the uh, UNESCO list. Okay. So if you see eight Biosphere, runoff catch Gujarat, then Assam. So Northeast ones I am listing first. Manas in Assam. Debru Saikova, I told you, mock D. So that D stands for this thing. Assam. Then uh, Kanjanjunga, you know the first mixed uh, heritage site of India, not of the world, of India it is the first mixed. Mixed means it's both cultural as well as naturally accepted as a world heritage site. That is again UNESCO. There is another UNESCO list that is the intangible list where Yoga and Namros recently got into uh, the list actually. Kumbh Mela got into list and again one more festival in the south uh, in Telangana, it was in news yesterday. Telangana or Andhra Pradesh, okay, there, that region, I forgot the name, one uh, uh, second uh, crowdest uh, festival you can call after Kumbh Mela, that one is going to be given national status or something and that will also get into the UNESCO list of intangible site. So I am just telling related things, okay, don't confuse yourself. Uh, Dihang Dibang is Arunachal Pradesh, Cold Desert is Himachal Pradesh, Sheshachalam Hills is actually Andhra Pradesh, Panna Tiger is, is, is Madhya Pradesh. So this 18, this order if you learn, no one, whatever they do to you, you will never forget it, okay. After this prelims, if you are going for next prelims also, once you study this, this will be always there in your mind. So make use of this chart. So let's see that MCQs and then wind up this chapter. Uh, to which one of the following types of vegetation does rubber? Rubber actually belongs to the tropical evergreen. We saw rubber, cinchona and all. Cinchona trees again found in the areas of rainfall. Obviously, it will be the highest one. So here 100 is the highest one. So more than 100 centimeters. In which of the following state is Simlipal? Simlipal was in news, I told, Mancheria tribes, Odisha. Okay. Sorry, okay, Odisha. Which one of the following biosphere is India is not included in the world network? I told you, minus multiple times, minus is not there, okay. Uh, 
Do we have? Okay, so that's MCQ. Again, basic questions, ecosystem, uh, biosphere reserve, what it is, two animals, it's just basically flora, fauna. You basically want to ask these basic questions, but there were sometimes NCRT questions are put directly and uh, put in UKC. So make sure you go through this also when you finish your reading of NCRT. Okay, hope this had helped. We'll come continue with uh, more chapters, but please give us feedback else we won't feel like making videos. So till we come with next uh, video, thank you and have a nice day.